Well, look what came in the mail today. This is the Reclaimed Series Cross Peen Hammer from Timothy Dick. No, he's not sponsoring the video. He didn't send me the hammer for free. I saw his announcement that he was making these hammers, so I went and ordered one, paid my money, and this is what I got. This is a wonderful looking cross peen hammer made from a piece of 1912 train rail. I'm not sure where that rail was originally installed, but it's been removed and salvaged. Mark 1912 on the rail, and he's cutting it up, making hammers out of it, in collaboration with Ethan Hardy. So this is a joint project between Timothy Dick and Ethan Hardy. But this is a gorgeous looking hammer. Can't wait to put it to work. The hammer I've been using weighs right at three pounds with a handle. This one weighs three pounds, five ounces with a handle. Slightly heavier. This has a nice square face. The other hammer that I've been using has a little bit of a rectangular face, which sometimes isn't really what I want. I think I like a square face better. So I'm looking forward to giving this a try. And what are we going to work on today? And hopefully be able to use this some. Well, I'm going to take the animal head from the last video. Now I know I said we were going to try a little bit different approach to this style of animal head, but I think I want to turn this into something first. And the easy thing is a poker. Pokers are popular. Lots of people want to buy different fireplace pokers. And this will make a very interesting finial on the handle. Going to be a fairly straightforward poker. Just going to cut this to length. I'm going to draw out a nice even taper from the full thickness until it gets down to where I need to make the point. And then I'll show you what I have in mind for the working end.
Just a little light straightening as it cools down. Well, after heating that up to work on the taper through here, I need to reapply the brass brushing, and I'm going to have to put the finish back on this. But both of those things are easy enough to do. Apparently, Johnson's is no longer making Johnson's paste wax, which means when I run out, I'll have to find another alternative. Might be pure as beeswax, I might make my own mix. Or I might just try out some other paste wax on the market. I think there are lots of options that will perform virtually the same. Well that makes a very nice fireplace poker with an interesting critter head on the top of it and a nice split point on the bottom of it. Very elegant. I think somebody's going to be glad to have this. And I'm going to put it on the Etsy shop. I will try to get it listed for later in the afternoon, the first day that this video plays on YouTube. So it'll be a first come, first serve thing, but I'm sure somebody will be glad to have it. Now, as far as the Timothy Dick hammer goes, this is really a nice hammer. It's perfectly dressed on the face. I didn't leave any odd corner marks or hammer marks with it, and that's really nice for a hammer fresh out of the box to be able to go right to work and not have to dress the face. The peen looks nicely dressed as well, although I didn't get an opportunity to actually work with the peen. We'll do that later. I'm sure I'm going to be using this hammer quite a bit in the near future. My first observation and my only concern on this hammer is that I think the handle is a little bit skinny. I feel like I have to grip awfully tight to keep this from slipping. If you look at the hammer I was using, the handle is a little bit thicker through there. They're about the same width front to back. It's just the thickness is a little bit off, but it's no big deal. I know how to replace a hammer handle. And really, handles are a very personal choice when it comes to a hammer. And that's one reason I often think I should never sell tools with handles in them and let the people buying the tools fit the handle themselves so they get exactly what they want for the way they work. But nevertheless, this is going to be a treasured hammer in my shop. Thank you, Timothy Dick. Thank you, Ethan Hardy, for making this hammer available. You guys did great work. For the rest of you, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.